Well, once again, we apologise for any inconvenience caused, not, not to mention the late notice. Well, thank you for your understanding. Bye-bye. Who was that? Uh, the, the vicar. What did he say to him? Well, I explained the situation and apologised for having to cancel so late in the day. What did he say? He attempted to pry. What did you say? I politely declined to enter into it. But what would you have said, Roy? Hmm? Would you have told him the truth? Hmm? That my sister put ludicrous thoughts in my head, exploited me paranoia, and you refused to disabuse me? What must he think of us? We needn't concern ourselves with that or with other people's opinions. It's fair to say that you've, uh, you've made a start. Well, people need to be made aware and, if possible, reimbursed. Well, I suppose we'll, uh, we'll lose our deposit on the, uh, the bistro and the flowers and... These things are, can't be helped. Have you told all the guests? Well, uh, there are some I'd, I'd rather tell in person. I've slept on it. Ken, for instance, perhaps Anna. Did you hear me? Fizz and Tyrone. Sorry. You seem to have it all in hand. Well, Fizz and had Tyrone's suit dry cleaned yesterday. I'll telephone them. God forbid they waste a ten on dry cleaning. Now, are they listed under state or Dobbs? Your rash is gone. Mmm. I had a really sour apple for my lunch yesterday. It made me feel proper sick. Well, where did you get it from? Debs. It was massive. Are you sure I want a cooking apple? Cooking apple? What's that? Are you serious? What's that? You've never heard of a cooking apple? You're having me on. <laughs> oh, do you know, this is Ali, is this? I'll take it in for a... I don't think she left some bubble bath here at all. Oh, I've been using that. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Hello, Roy. What? Why? Oi. You kicking them presents? What? No. Yes, you were. Who does it say it's two? <sighs> to Tracy from Peter. Hey, exactly so. Keep your size tens off it. Could you not stretch to a love from? Oh, I'll just, I'll just write that on yours. How about that? Oh, what's this then? Never you mind what that is. That's not got a label on it. No. Oh, gosh, cold out there. Oh, yeah, it's freezing. You need Hello. to wear that woolly hat. Hello. Where's your scarf, Dad? You need to put your scarf on. You're going to catch your death. Don't like that woolly hat. Flattens my hair. Oh, yeah, it ruins my hair for the rest of the day. Oh, the vanity, the vanity. Uh, Dad. It's Roy from the calf. Oh. Hello, Roy. Well, well uh, <laughs> you're back. Um, sorry to hear that, Roy. <sighs> Another letter from the solicitor. This one on behalf of my clients, Mr. S.J. Hardwick and Miss T. Partridge. Which ones are they? Young engaged couple, flat nine. He was a teacher, taught physics. She was in marketing, and their mum lent them the money. Poor things. <laughs> Solicitor doesn't mince his words. Put it on the file, love. None of that's got anything to do with us. No one seems to appreciate that we've lost more than they have. Mm. Mm, people are funny about these things. Have you finished with that? We need to look at the jobs pages. Have you not heard of the internet? Uh, oh, there's, um, there's a job going for a receptionist at a drugs clinic up in town. I'm thinking of applying. Uh, <sighs> drugs clinic. Don't know when Jack poison into the body. You should just let them get on with it. Oh, he's so charitable, isn't he? Come on, hand it over. We can't be on the bread line. Where are you going to live? Ah. Oh, was that a stupid question? Well, we're just thinking short term, aren't we? Mm. Depends if he can behave himself. Hello, my mate Tommy. Thomas, thanks for ringing me back. You're not seriously that paranoid, are you? Just wish he'd clear off again. I mean, Leanne's living with me, and she's pregnant. Even Barlow wouldn't think that, though, would he? Wouldn't think so, would you? Pregnant means off limits. Oh, shut up, totally. What do you think of the coffee? This is new stuff. What is it? Indonesian or something? Vietnamese. Yeah, you know, I'm in the pub the other day, and he turns to his brother and he says, there's only one woman for me. Look, mate, if it bothers you that much, you know what you should do? You should have it out with him. Nip it in the bud. Yeah, but I've tried that. Well, try harder. 
Talk to him properly. Tell him to back off or else. Oh, dear. Someone's getting married in the morning. Actually, that, that's what I've come to discuss. Hand. No, it's all right. I'm pregnant, not completely helpless, but thanks. <laughs> Morning. All right. We had one from the bank yesterday, the fraud department. Two from the solicitors the day before, and another one this morning. And the language is really aggressive. Well, what can they do, though? I mean, if the police think this other bloke's responsible. Well, exactly. So why are they persecuting us? now? do they know where we live? I mean, the company's not even registered at my address. Oh, if people are out of pocket, they'll find a way. Jason, I feel sorry for. Well, you and me both, love. See ya. See in a bit. What was all that about? Well, they've all been ordered and paid for, Roy. They're coming this afternoon. It's not as simple as cancel everything. I am perfectly prepared to pay in full. I'm merely informing you as a matter of courtesy. Right. Well, Mary was going to work late tonight. We both were. Whose idea was it to cancel? Oi. Could you be any ruder? You know, if they couldn't have a baby, would you ask them which one was infertile? Cancellation duly noted, Roy. But like I said, don't expect a refund. Thank you. Oi, customer service. I should send you on a course. By the way, Norris came in again. What did you say to him? Well, I just told him you'd gone to Roy's to get some buns. What's going on with the two of you? Have you had some sort of lover's tiff? No. Be honest, though, have you ever, you know, with Norris? I have not. From solicitors. Solicitors, bankers, disgruntled clients, you name it. All going to a door. Tyrone said Eileen said Phelan thinks they should put him in the shredder. Oh, stupid cow. She deserves everything she gets. Why don't you come outside? No, I'm not going outside. Come on, I'll make you feel better. What, staggering up the street while all the neighbours gawp at me? Oh, yeah, that's really going to cheer me up. No one's going to stare. Do you not reckon? Pay good money to come and see me, you know, along with the bearded lady and the world's tallest man. Hey, you've got nothing to be ashamed about. It'll be good practice for the wedding. You've got to get used to these public appearances. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about the wedding. Oh, come on. You put your dress out. I'm not going on my own. Oh, who's this now? <sighs> Hello? Hello, it, it's Roy here. Uh, Roy Cropper. I did not ruin everything. I simply warned her what she was getting into. Roy isn't like... The bloke who you end up with. Oh, and who do I end up with? How long have you got? They're all the same, Alex. Liars and cheaters. Liars and cheaters? No, liars and cheaters. You know, they promise you the world and then... Oh, as soon as they get comfortable, they're sniffing around for something else. They let you down. You know, they want someone younger, someone prettier, someone who hasn't got your irritating habits. They get bored. They lose patience. Nobody's good enough for them. Why would not let her down? He made a promise. Oh, look, here he is. Oh, she's had a narrow escape. Don't be fooled by that face. Beneath that innocent exterior lies the beating heart of a love rat. I should bill him for my hotel room. Mothers. Uh, well, I'm gonna go into town. Shopping. Is it really the time? No, Billy, job hunting. There's a row of solicitors on Merchant Square. I mean, I should have done it years ago instead of getting mixed up with Pat and Tracy. So, I'm going to put on a real sharp suit, take a load of CVs. I've got some printed on the beige coloured paper. You know, all that stuff with the right nice texture to it, you know? Oh, how could they resist? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm just going to stay put. OK, all right. See ya. Mwah. I trust you've dealt with everything. I believe so, yes. You won't be needing these, will you? Hi. 
You never told me about Maria. What? What's he done now? You don't want to know. This spoon took Liam home, walked straight in on her wrapping the poor lad's Christmas presents. <laughs> you clown. Took me out, didn't even mention it. Well, why would I? I felt like a complete fool. He's ruined Liam's Christmas. Did the lad see what it was? Aye, sorry, it was a bite. You do the maths. Oh, look, I was rushing. I'd promise you a night out. Mm. No wonder he had a face on him. Barely said two words to me all night. She give you a rollicking or what? I just felt bad for Liam. Mm, I bet you did. Oh, by the way, she is well into that Adam Barlow. Hmm? Think she's smitten? It's, uh, it's uh, just my wedding dress. I'm, I'm taking it back to the shop. Although, I don't know how I'm going to explain it to them. I made such a fuss about it all. I, I practically invited them at one point. Oh, it's going to be mortifying. Maybe I'll go in disguise. Or I could send Fizz with me debit card. And that. Or we could go through with it. We made a promise to each other. It was non-binding. You call the wedding off. Oh, oh, I see. So you just simply went along with my wishes and you were completely innocent in all of this? You don't agree? Oh, no, Roy, no, I don't agree. I was hurt, OK? My sister provoked me again. I was offering you the opportunity, OK, to say, shut up. I'm never going to leave you. I would never let you down like Alan did. But what did, what did you say? Let's remember, you said, if that's how you feel. I was trying to be considerate. If that's how you feel. It's roughly translated as, I agree. Yeah, good idea. I'm overcome with relief. It's like this morning, isn't it, eh? What time did you actually get up? Hmm? You couldn't get on that phone quick enough. There are practicalities to consider. P practicality? I'm throwing myself on your mercy here, and you're giving me practicalities. I wouldn't have let you down. I didn't want to call it off, Roy. I wanted you to reassure me. I'm attempting to. If it's not too late. You've told everybody. I'll, I'll untell them. Are you pitying me? No. So you really do care for me? Very much. And you think we should get married? I do. Was that a joke? Did you just crack a joke? Oh, unfortunately not. It was accidental. <laughs> oh, Roy. The bin lorry! The bin lorry! Oh, the bin lorry! Gonna buzz you. All right. What do I owe the pleasure? Quick quiz question. What happened on this fine day six years ago? Give up. We tied the knot. Oh yeah, so we did. Anyway, that that's not what I want to talk about. Um, I've had an idea. Oh, never a good sign. See, the thing is, I'd really like to see Sai open his Christmas presents. Oh, yeah, well, you're not coming to Liverpool with us. <laughs> well, well, no, but I just wondered if we could all get together before you go, because I've already wrapped mine. Oh, I'll check you out. Yeah, all right. I'd be up for that. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, aren't we modern? Mm -hmm. I'll just check when we're free. I heard you mention him. Who, hey, Tommy? He's my go-to man for a couple of days' honest labouring. Aren't you a bit old for shoveling? Yeah, normally I wouldn't, but needs must. We can manage. We? I know it's not much, but I'm going to try and pay them all back. One day, all of them. It's Vinny who stole the money, not you. They trusted me. Hello, Ken. Yes, sir. I heard about your misfortune. Oh, finally getting old. <laughs> Looks like I had a lucky escape, eh? All right, Andy, lad. Hey. I heard you're quite the wordsmith. You are. You know, your short stories, what are they? The romance or stuff for ladies' magazines? Horror. Oh, scary. 
I'm not much of a reader myself, to be told, but uh, I'd like to read one of your stories one day. Yeah, well, I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm writing one right now. It's about a very bad man who finally gets his comeuppance. Perhaps you'd sign it for me. Anyway, all the best. Wish you every success in the world. We've got a carol service on the 22nd, so 23rd? Perfect. Great. Lovely. Oh, thanks, Lee. Right. See ya. See ya. Back on. I trust it isn't too late. Well, I don't know about that, Roy. I mean, we've had several big orders come in since. I can't make any promises. Do you, do you suggest I try elsewhere? No, uh, leave it with us. We'll see what we can do. That's very kind. You've had an eventful day. Yes. Mary! What have I told you? Apologies, Roy. I mean, heaven forbid we get an order for a funeral. How did he die? Have you told him your news? No. What is it? She won't tell me either, but uh, Norris certainly seems to know. He reckons he's never heard of him. You've never heard of cooking apples. Is he in on this? This is a wind-up. What am I going to do with him, Kevin? Don't tell me your mother never made your apple crumble. Oh, I, yeah. My mum was always baking, could never get her apron off. <laughs> hey, what about Roy? Oh, we can't get to the bottom of it. Mm, cold feet. Oh, it's such a shame. Minute is coming. Oh, Roy. I was going to call him, but Mr Connors had us working like dogs. What's the latest? Well, can I just say, I think you've made the right decision. But the wedding's back on. I'm not daft. Yes, you are. I've already warned you once. I do not fancy Maria. You're shacked up with a cracking bit of stuff. Oh, you should tell her that. She'd be so flattered. A cracking bit of stuff? Mm. In old money. Look, I've been in your position. I know you have, with my mum on the receiving end. Exactly. You're a lot better off with this one. She's lovely, loyal, and she ain't got any luggage. Luggage? Not luggage. What do people say these days? Baggage. Kids. Oh, good. Babe, just so you know, I'm going to take this afternoon off, whether you do or not, OK? OK. I'm in. What's the plan? Well, we need to write our Christmas card. Right. And I think we should both sign him, cos I think it looks dead nice when couples do that. You know, like Eva and Aidan. Or Aidan and Eva. Or just, like, A and E. Accident and emergency. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll have a rethink, but are you game? He can't wait. Yay! <laughs> I'll get my coat. Hi, <sighs> Chris. Chris. Oh, How is this, our jobs? Sorry? Oh, uh, uh both. It was sort of tied in together. How so? It was a, a, a vicar, vicarage situation. Seriously? You were a vicar? Yeah, I, I was, yeah. Good on you, leaving all that behind. The world would be a better place without any of them. What's wrong with her? I'm not sure. Um, that was a bit reductive, if you don't mind me saying. Pardon? Imagine a world without faith. Mm. Then all we'd have to do is eradicate climate change. Oh, bless. It's no good. What is it, Cathy? Well, I can't remember my vows. Well, I used to read my sermons into a dictaphone and then just play them back to myself. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Eight of them, in fact. You've got eight dictaphones. Where are you going? <sighs> so you'll have a lion on a Sunday. Let your hair down a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I will. I bet she doesn't come back. Of course she will. Have a little faith. It, it was little more than a hiccup, but if you are still free, I, I would be honoured if you could attend. Of course, Roy, of course. Yeah. And um, everything's all right? Yeah, every, everything's fine, yes, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, well, I've, I must go because I'm not quite... Um... Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. 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 Oh, Ah, again, uh, is Peter in? Yes, come in. Be there. Nick's here to see you. Oh, hey, Nick. So now uh, we can uh, talk in private? Sure. Go to my bedroom if you like. Sorry, Dad. Uh, Lado, he wants a word in private, so. Ah, <sighs> it's 
take the dog out again. Good exercise for both of us. Hat and scarf on, please. So, uh, Leanne tells me Toya and her husband are having a bit of trouble. I don't fancy your Christmas much, mate. Sorry. Oh, also, did she mention the little get-together we're having? It's 23rd, if that's all right with you. Stay away from Leanne. I know what you're up to, and this stops now. You're kidding me. What did they say? Oh, didn't go into any detail. Just said they changed their mind and it's all back on. Oh, what are they like? You'll regret it if you don't go. Oh, uh, do you know what, Kev? The selfish part of me were pleased that they'd called it off. Everyone will love to see you there. And you look stunning. I can't believe it. I had it all sorted. There'll be other weddings, mate. Other canapes. The beef ones especially. I was keen to get some feedback. You should get out more. And the salmon. I've totally mastered the pastry. Oh. Hey, Roy. Roy, man, why'd you have to go and cancel? I had the canapes all worked out. I wish to uh, reverse my decision. Sorry? Well, should, should your premises and your staff be still available, I, I want to uncancel the booking. Is he okay? Sit down, fetch a glass of water. It's, it's all. all right, just just oh. sit down, Roy, relax. Back on. Don't speak, Doc. I'm getting married in the morning. We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>